Ever since I made my first investment into DraftKings stock late last year, its stock price has just continued to go down fast. And now that I have a few told you so's in my YouTube comment section, I think it's a good idea to make a video talking about exactly what I'm going to be doing with this stock in 2022 and whether or not I actually think it's still a good investment. But first, let's get you up to date on everything that has happened so far. So here we have DraftKings, which is a daily fantasy sports content and betting company. It was started in a spare bedroom by three best friends, Jason Robbins, Matt Kalish, and Paul Liverman, who are still the three leading figures on the executive team today. It trades under the ticker symbol DKNG and first went public in April of 2020 via a SPAC merger. From there, it went on to be one of the best performing stocks of its kind that year by bringing in gains of over 400% of their original $10 asking price. Moving into 2021, we still saw small progress within its stock price in the early months. However, for the rest of the year, it actually settled within a sideways trading pattern. And then finally, it wasn't until the last few months of 2021 where a lot of investors, me being one of them, thought they had found themselves a bargain. The stock alongside pretty much every other high growth stock decided to crash over 50%. Which of course then brings us to today where the stock is currently sitting at $21.89 and has a market cap of close to 9 billion. So knowing all of that, that then brings me back to the question, am I still buying this stock in 2022? And the answer is a resounding yes. Yes! But of course, I can't just sit here and say that without any reasoning behind that. So let's jump into a couple of my reasons right now. And the first being, there hasn't actually been any bad news to warrant this stock price getting crushed. And you may have actually noticed, this isn't the only stock that has dropped over 50% in value recently. And this is simply because we are currently experiencing a market-wide correction across all stocks. And for the most part, most companies haven't even come out with any bad news to justify a drop of 50%. Now, the reason why companies like DraftKings and other high growth companies are suffering more in a market like this is that in times of panic in the market, investors normally flock to those companies with high cash moats that can have no worries in surviving sharp economic downturns. Turns. A couple of companies to note that are like this are Apple, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, and Google. All of these have massive amounts of cash to help them weather the storm, and their stock price reflects on this, showing not even half the losses that a company like DraftKings has. However, downturns like this do not last forever, and you would be an absolute fool to write off all of these businesses in the long-term future. And even more so, like I mentioned, the fact that DraftKings hasn't even come out with anything mind-blowingly negative, except from a slight miss in their revenue of quarter three, gives me the full confidence that this is just a blip in the market rather than anything to do with the actual company. Now let's put ourselves in a scenario that the company did come out with any news saying that there's maybe a decline in interest or maybe a potential decline in revenue in the future. Of course, that would lead to some fear and uncertainty within the stock. But in this case, I think DraftKings, if anything, has the complete opposite to this, which leads me to my second reason to be bullish, and that is the demand is only going to increase for this company over the next five to 10 years because DraftKings is in a completely brand new industry. Now, you may not know this, but sports betting has actually been illegal in the majority of states in America, with a few exceptions like Nevada, of course. However, in 2018, the US Supreme Court struck down a federal ban on single game wagering, and whilst the law still needs to be approved at a state level, this is, of course, a massive win for DraftKings and its competing sports betting companies because what this essentially does is opens up a massive opportunity for exponential growth. And as of right now, DraftKings is now available in 17 states across America with New Jersey being its first to open in August of 2018. Now, whilst all this sounds very good, the big concern from investors and institutions surrounding this new opportunity is actually how quickly can this company become profitable within these states. And with DraftKings committing a massive allocation of their cash towards marketing with the promise of actually making this happen within a two to three year period, if they couldn't achieve this, it could be a big negative for this stock. However, last year they delivered on their promise by reporting their first profitable period in New Jersey, proving that the marketing strategy has allowed them to gain market leadership and prove their business model actually works. Now, for me, this is absolutely massive to hear as an investor, and it's only going to get more interesting to see how many other states they can make money on over the next year. But what's even bigger than this is that from the 8th of January this year, New York has now officially been opened up for legal sports betting. Now, why is this so important? Well, 
First off, if we take a look at the annualized gross sports betting revenue expected, New York actually exceeds New Jersey by more than 25% in revenue. And if DraftKings can implement the same strategy that they did to gain the market share in New Jersey, I can see New York becoming more profitable even faster. And so far, things are looking pretty promising. First up, it reads that 1.2 million accounts have already been created within the space of a month. And secondly, that around 88% of those accounts are people that are completely brand new to the legal sports betting industry, which is absolute music to a growth investor's ears. Now, one thing that I do need to bring up that we do need to be wary of, however, is that New York and New Jersey are very close together, and it is still unclear on how many people will spill over to New York, but so far the numbers have been nothing short of astonishing, and once again, a really positive indicator that this company is heading in the right direction. A notable date to put in your calendar is actually February the 18th, 2022, which is when DraftKings are due to announce their fourth quarter earnings. From there, I think we will get a much clearer picture on the launch of New York betting and potentially even get to see whether some other states have now become profitable. And when it does come to investing around earnings and whether you should wait till they've been announced or go in before, for someone like myself that's already deep into this stock, it's probably not as important. However, if you're only just opening your position right now, especially in a market like this it can go both ways. If you saw recently, Snapchat reported its first ever profitable quarter and saw a surge of 50% in the stock in one day. Now, I'm not saying something like this will happen with DraftKings if they reported something similar, but it's just the risk that you take when investing around an earnings report. Of course, you also have the other end of the spectrum and revenue figures did miss and growth wasn't as good as expected. It could actually do something like what Meta did and plunge 25% in a single trading day. But nonetheless, it's a decision that you are gonna have to make for yourself if you are interested in this stock but either way right now I think this stock is an absolute bargain which is actually my third reason as to why I'm still buying into this company in 2022 and disclaimer alert you should never look at a stock to buy purely based on its price right now some companies deserve to be at their cheap valuations but in this case for me where I presented two extremely bullish cases for this stock I understand the risks when I do weigh everything up on top of the price already being down 50% from its high a year ago and trading at its lowest ever price to sales ratio of 7.14 as a bullish investor for this company if i'm not here sitting telling myself it's a bargain i would have to question why i invested into this stock in the first place so yes i do think DraftKings is a great investment for 2022 but i also think 2022 could be a challenging year for the market as a whole so always take that into consideration when performing your own research just remember this guys everyone is an expert in a bull market and it's times like this where you really see who has actually done their research and those that are actually confident in the companies that they claim they're investing into. So having said that, if you wanted to see some of the other companies that I'm investing into, check out one of these two videos. Go over here for my growth stocks and go over here for my big tech stocks and ETFs and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.